Hey there guys, it's Metro and we're back again. It's been a little bit since the last episode, but we are back again and this time we are going to be, uh, yeah, probably doing the same stuff we've been doing. There's not a lot of stuff that I really want to do, do want? left, as you guys what might have seen in the last episode. Um, we got all the items from this guy, we got all the items that we actually would wear from this guy. And there's some stuff we can buy, but it's all for other classes that I don't plan on playing, so... Probably won't continue to buy any of this stuff. Let's see, maybe mounts. We looked at mounts, I think. Speak your truth. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much done. We're pretty much done with the collection. Uh, the gear is the not attractive to buy. Like, I've, that's just a waste of my time. Um, yeah, I don't know. Any gear that's still in the game, I don't really care to buy. So, I like the idea. Uh, they did a good job with it. I mean, I guess a lot of this is just what is this? Do not share Dungeon what apparel. Who cares about that? Maybe buy the Raid Finder set, so I don't know. I mean, I don't probably have any of those, but... Yeah, probably not. Probably not buying anything else. Maybe mounts, but yeah. Otherwise, maybe start putting... We start putting power back into our actual gear. I mean, there's not a really... There's not a single mount I want. The only mount I want is to spawn a board on it. That's 38k, so... It's like, I don't want it that bad. I'm all set. So, instead, what we're gonna do is continue to try to solo stuff. Uh, last time we were able to do Moguchan Alice, or Vault, or whatever the hell it's called. Today we're going to go try Terrace of the Eternal Spring, because uh, I've, been, I've been told that that one is very doable. And that's one of my favorite raids ever, so that and Moguchan Vaults I have great, great memories in. We will eventually try Heart of Fear, but I've heard that one is not soloable, but I would like to try it, regardless. Alright, so let's walk in. This one I don't, I'm... Yeah, we'll see. On uh, normal, I think there's probably new mechanics on Heroic. I also want to try Mogushan Vault's Heroic at some point. That'll be down the line. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. I mean, I love the theme of this raid, but it's a little dark in here. I don't know why. I guess because it's still nighttime or something. Let's see what happens with the trash. And the, uh, the other raid, we had some problems with the trash. Maybe not. Maybe pointing all these mobs is a bad idea. That's the fear right there. I know. Unleashed terror, maybe? Grip of fear. Can't stop them, so we're about to get feared. That's a long ass fear, too. We're probably just gonna die to these mobs. Make a mistake and you pay. Oh, yeah, we're, okay. we're definitely dying from it. And so, uh, I forgot about human racial. Chicks reminded me, is there. All stun effects. Not fears. <laughs> okay. I have multiple fears on me now. Oh, we're gonna have to fight one at a time here. That's a bit ridiculous. Bit ridiculous. Still almost killed them all, by the way. Didn't get to play my character for like a minute. For some reason now, if you get back before the mob reaches its original starting point, it will not have its health reset, which is definitely not how the game used to work, but that's fine by me. What are these things doing? So I'm not sure if we need to... Interrupt anything or do something specific here. I'm gonna AMS the terrors. Oh, is that the thing spawning the ads? Oh, that's probably the thing spawning the ads. And what, if they get to you, they fear you? No. They don't seem to do anything. Overwhelming fear. Sounds like we don't want that either, so. Have the potential to uh, get rid of it, we're gonna do that. But yeah, I had no idea how powerful, uh, I think it's because I have that, like, quick strike tinker or whatever. 
but we are very powerful defensively simply because of that, it looks like. That plus permafrost. Group of peers, what's... Okay, that's actually gonna get off, isn't it? Because my... My MS... Oh, no, 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 it lasts really long. I didn't realize how long that lasts. Last what, 12 seconds? Wow, okay, it was born 12 seconds. Never really paid attention to how long it lasted. It's a long time. I spun only last 8 seconds. Yeah, I don't really remember these encounters much, so... We'll see if there's anything that we need to learn. Shaw here up there doing some battle. This is gonna be a fear, isn't it? Yep. Profusely annoying. Good. Very good. Now we will do boss. I think one need like I think you need to kill him in a certain order, and I think there's a hard mode to kill one last. They all oh no, they don't all have the same health, so we'll kill one that has lower health to we'll start with. One of them heals, I think, so we'll figure that out. I think it's this guy, the water bolt. Start with him. No idea if they heal each other or when they die as well or what. We should clean them down. Yeah, cleansing water. It needs to be moved out of it. Is that what that is? I think that's what's happening there. I know. See, it's healing them. I can't stop that. I have no way of stopping that. Uh. So what are we doing now? I don't need. I don't want to keep them stacked up, probably, right? Because it's gonna keep dropping it on top of them. Should I kill this guy first, I guess. Is it healing both of them now? Yeah, it's healing both of them. So we need to get them separated from each other. I. Mm, I know, it's kind of, yeah, let's try to get them in three different spots, but still be able to get these two. Just in case he puts one down. It's probably going to heal this one now. I don't know that I can even do this. Because... Can I try to move it preemptively? Does it have to hit him? Okay, it has to, like, I see. So just whenever the cast happens, we just need to move, but... It doesn't really matter. I have annoying. Lightning prison, I have no idea what that is, but doesn't seem to be even happening. Don't want to actually kick that. Trying to keep it so no other one heals by accident here. Alright, I think we're good to lust though. Also need to push the stuff up. I think I missed something or something, but it doesn't matter, we're good. Both like relatively low because of the dots and stuff that we've been putting on them. See, I, I did not remember this mechanic, but I knew there was some problems with this fight being a technical battle. These first two fights I remember having a lot of problems with when we did them on Heroic because they were way more like technical than any fight in Mogu Vaults. 
or uh, also even hard of fear. Hard of fear, same way. I would probably get the blast here. Mom's gonna be dead. The only problem is now moving the casters from the heal. I don't know how we're gonna handle that part. Is this gonna change the fight when we do this? I just don't know if it's gonna. Oh yeah, okay, it heals him up. So that's unfortunate. Oh yeah, corrupting waters is now an orb. What? What is it doing? Is it being? I don't know. Oh, it's not even a heal anymore. Wait, I'm so confused what's happening right now. What is this doing? When we kill it, we got a ma major buff. Anyway, this one is being healed, so we'll switch again. So now it does like multiple mechanics that are something we need to be cautious of. Corrupted water is not the same thing as the heal. Still gonna do the heal, I guess. Yes. It doesn't matter if we kill this thing, but we'll just cleave it because it's a buff if we do. Seemingly. It doesn't buff them at all right now. So there's no point in doing damage to the other mob because it heals up. We just sit on our interrupt to be able to definitely kick a cast after it puts the heal down. Like that. Strange fight. We we'll probably should kill the water guy first if we do it. If we have to do it again, because that's the only thing that's actually hard on the fight, from what I can tell. I have no idea what the other guy would do if we killed him last, but. Alright, come on! Don't put another heal down. Just die. You're gonna die, right? Okay, perfect. Presumably we're good now. I don't even know what Lightning Prism is, but it's never done anything on the fight once, so... Somehow it must either be bugged or not working. Start getting stuff, I guess. Presumably this isn't going to do any damage, but we'll see. Doesn't even seem to hit me. Thirteen-minute boss fight. Seven-minute fight so far. We were recording for thirteen minutes already. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, have time to finish. There's only four bosses in here. So this one will definitely be doable. Presumably, as, all, as long as all of them are killable. I was way over over or under shooting my power though. Like I don't I could probably solo everything in the game. As long as there's no DPS checks. Like I don't know what the enrage is gonna do, but I don't think it's gonna challenge us. I guess we're about to find out. But even that, like I, we still almost beat the enrage, even though we fucked up a lot. Didn't even have buffs on. Uh, let's see, 20 seconds. We, we still might beat it. I think we still beat it. I think we still beat it. It's going to be really close. Because our, our lightning thing is going to be back up here. Yeah, lightning is back up. It doesn't do as much damage as I hoped it was going to do. Three. Alright, he's enraged. 
He's never even gonna get a cast off. He's not gonna do a single thing while in range. Well, he can't die during this mechanic. What's happening? Okay. You got shoulders. Cool. That was strange. All right. Anyway, um. Now we gotta wait for. So now he was too long with winning against Shao Fear, but because we killed the Jinyu fellas, now now he lost. So sorry about that. This one I thought we used to have to heal, like an actual healer had to heal something, but I guess not. So we'll find out. I don't remember this fight at all. I remember this fight being like, we literally couldn't beat it for a long time. I think we beat it once and then we never came back here. Something That has something to do with something. It clears the stacks, I think. Yeah. Immune to Dread Shadows. And it shrinks every time somebody's in it, I think. See, I think on Heroic there was like a tree or something that you had to heal and I don't remember what that was. What the purpose of it was. I think maybe that healing the tree was how you beat the uh got the light or something like that, maybe? I have no idea. This isn't really doing anything, but it's probably gonna eventually do something. Light goes away after a while, okay. What is the nightmare? It looks oh it's a fear, of course. This say looks like it's gonna do shadow damage, but I did fear instead. Old school mechanics with like very poorly designed edges. Kind of funny to go back to all this. This was when raiding took like, you know, Kata and Mob was like when raiding took like a serious jump in difficulty. But it was before like major progression changes occurred. Although, I don't know, I'm probably just wrong about that. That, you know, I remember people doing shit in like, with AVR, you remember, <laughs> how many people remember AVR? We bring this up a lot, but... Back in uh, Wrath, there was an add-on called AVR. And it basically like, defined at the edge of every mechanic for you. And it was the most overpowered add-on that ever existed for rating. You were able to basically draw up like, places to stand. Like, you would put like, an area on the actual map. Yeah, here we go. This part he has he has to be healed, doesn't he? But anyway, you would put like a segment on the map with a draw a line and it would be like, alright, that's where the healers are gonna stand kind of thing. It's really crazy. I have no idea what we're supposed to do here. I mean he definitely needs to be healed. Are we gonna have to like try a different gem or something? We can't heal him. Like what? If he gets to zero, he dies. Is that what happens? So it says like already we can't do this. Let's just let him get to zero then. Oh, what the hell is happening right now? Where's like getting your ass kicked? Oh, 30% of current health, that's why. Okay, yeah, so we, we just can't do this fight as of right now. Is there a gem that we can use to do the fight? Probably this, Searing Light. Uh, maybe Warmth? I will wait. I'm going to wait. Jix, I know you're watching this. You tell me, my friend. I know you got a lot of knowledge here. Let me hear what your thoughts are on that. Let's go do hard fear for a little bit. I want to try hard fear anyway, so. We'll go check that out.
probably multiple gems that can help us with that, but I don't know. Not that uh, well versed on it. Yeah, he's good. I'm not even sure why we're killing these at this point. Just kind of fun. Heart of Fright, let's see. I don't know what bosses will be impossible, but I have heard, what did it, I think, message that to me, or was that on the channel, or what? Mogushan Vault Solable, Heart of Fear, last two bosses can't be soloed. Uh, Terrace of the Endless Spring, Solable Somehow, I think is what he's saying. Siege of Orgmore, and Galacrass, and Tot Solable. Okay. I yeah, definitely wouldn't mind trying to uh, throw Thunder again as well. And then we definitely want to try Heroic on Rogushan Vault at some point. I kind of like the idea of just logging on and doing Mogushan Vaults every day, man. Like, we can check out if there's any loot or anything that we want. So this raid is, like... Definitely not as cool as the other raids, but I think it has way better like story and stuff going on here. I'm not really even sure what's happening in the other raids, to be honest. They're kind of just like, they feel like they're kind of just like fluff raids, like they're just there for fun. This raid is the one that has the true story implications. some uh, closed-minded individuals. This is like old god shit, I guess, basically, is what they're going on about. I don't know that that's true, though. Like, I don't, are the old gods actually related to this right now? I don't think they are until Garrosh gets involved, right? At this point, it's not related to old god stuff. It's just like crazy bugs talking about shit from Shaw relation. Although, I, no, because the Shaw are. The Shaw are directly related to the old gods, right? Isn't that something to do with Yashar? Yashar just created the Shaw or something? I have no idea. I know, cop, you're listening. Maybe he's not, but here comes the lower down. Pay attention. All right, uh, we need to buff up again. We need to biff up, as Arno once said. This is trash. Oh yeah, that's probably trash. I don't, even, I don't remember, like, I remember being in here a lot, but I don't remember even what the name of the first fight is. Oh, it's the one with the uh, rings, right? What was funny? There was some funny story about those rings. Imperial Vizier's Warlock. Oh, okay, that's the guy who was talking the whole time. I don't remember what this fight's main difficulty is though, we'll see. I think it was just traveling across the room and not dying, because that was actually like really dangerous or something. Just less now. Probably just less on the pull of every boss, because force and verb. Yes, we had, we had to survive this by standing in these things, right? It doesn't matter though whatsoever on this difficulty. And did they go down when you stood in them or something? the first fight of a raid though so it can't be that hard 
I remember having a lot of trouble on her up or something. Cause this is this is the first fight of a raid, but it wasn't really like this raid is meant to just be harder than the other two, I think. Or it's definitely meant to be hard in Mogushan vaults. See, they did that a lot in the early days. Well, not a lot really, but TBC and Kata and Mop had it. Where they were, oh, I guess Wad did too, kind of. But yeah, they they have like a raid that's like an introduction to raiding for the expansion, and then it's like not really a main raid. Like it ends up being on like a, almost like a filler raid. Like it has lore, but not really. It's kind of like basic lore. Not like heavy hitting shit. And then they eventually introduced this. And and they did it in Legion, but like nobody remembers it this way for some reason. What is this? So. Attenuation. This is the thing that you had to dodge. That's what it was. And we had some guy in our guild who like straight up, he would just run into them basically. Like he had no hope of dodging them. And if they hit, oh yeah, I think on Heroic, if they hit one person, they break into more. I think is what it was. But anyway, um, they did it in Legion as well. AMS? Yeah, that works. And uh, people don't remember it that way. Everybody looks at Emerald Nightmare as its own season, its own tier, and then Nighthold as its own. But all of those things were tested together. If you were on the Legion beta, you will remember that Nighthold was actually the first thing they tested. I remember doing Nighthold, and I couldn't play my Holy Pally because Holy Pally's talents still weren't in the game. They actually tested Scorpron and the Alpha of Legion before they even had all the uh, specs out, which is crazy. There's some reason why traveling through that was dangerous. I, I guess it just did damage or something. I don't remember. This, these were the good old days. This was when raiding was. This is like the last time raiding was at its peak in my eyes. It's gonna stun us again. This was the last of peak raiding because this was before raiding became like ultra difficult. Like, if you were serious about playing your character at all, you'd be able to have a shot at clearing all the raids. It's just about the amount of time spent. Before mechanics started becoming like fucking absolutely ridiculous, where like every boss did like crazy ass mechanics, and the mythic version was totally different from the heroic version, and gear was like absolutely needed, and if you didn't run mythic plus, you were gonna be way behind, and all this like yeah. This was the peak of rating. Mop was it for me, and after that, it was a steady decline downward. Legion was solid. I liked Legion's raids a lot, but yeah. Mostly just because Mythic Plus was so fun and accessible at that point. I think a lot of people stopped liking Raids and Legion. What are we doing now? He's going to eat all the stuff on the ground and we're going to fight him down here. That's right. Okay. No idea why you wouldn't just be down here weak. I, I don't know how this fight was meant to work back in the day, but... It ain't working that way now. It's going to be that stun again that's annoying. Is this a tank breaker type thing? Like, I have no idea. Like, he doesn't do anything. I'm sure those mechanics were meant to one-shot you, but other than that, I don't know what this fight even does. It must not be doing stuff, maybe, because I'm only as a tank or something. No idea. Force and Verve, this is, I guess, this was a very hard healing check, if I remember correctly. Okay, that fight's just a joke, doesn't do a single thing. Hardest part is the fucking getting stunned. Most annoying part. Attenuation. Oh, we had some joke about it, I don't remember. Somebody, like, literally couldn't survive this mechanic. It was impossible to do the fight with him. I think we even did it with 24 or something like that on the kill. Because it was a guy who was just straight up, like... I don't remember, but I do remember that this fight gave us a lot of problems for some reason. I mean, fights like that always gave people problems in the early days. That was really the difference, having 25 players who actually all cared about what they were doing.
think he inhales from one tank and then he's meant to exhale on the other tank or something. Is that how it's working? Because it says exhale damage increased by 150%, but I have no idea what that even means. You can just fucking AMS it as well. Okay. I don't know what the CD on AMS would have been back in the day, though. Probably a minute still. Alright, well, we're getting paid. Are we only getting... Oh, yeah, we got four threads only. Wow, rares give more? That's crazy. Raid bosses don't give a lot of stuff. 500 bronze and then a guaranteed piece of loot, it looks like. Alright, this was the fight. This was the famous fight. I don't know how many times I've told this story over the years, but this fight was buggy and very, very, very difficult to heal. And we came to the realization that the only way we were going to kill the fight without tons of RNG was having a resto shop. We're having two resto shops. We had Jesse Cox in the guild, by the way, if you guys don't know who that is. He's a huge YouTuber. At the time, he was big, but now he's ridiculous. Um, anyway... So I switched from my Holy Pally to my Shaman Alt, who was like a fresh 90 or whatever it was at the time. And I had no gear. So when we did the fight, I could do what I needed to do. I literally just needed to drop Spirit Link at certain times. That was all I needed to do to be successful. And uh, all I needed to do was survive long enough to get to that point. So we, we bought a bunch of Stam Gems. Like back in the day, gear had like sockets on everything. And so this character had like eight stam gems. We even bought like a BOE cloak or something like that to put extra gems in or something, I remember. That character is now the the character on Fire Tree that I have. I switched it from a troll to a torn at some point, I think, but. Yeah, this was the mechanic. So you needed to soak this mechanic, and a lot of the times because he would knock but I guess like there was movement or something. I don't remember really what would happen. But like basically it would be extremely inconsistent that everybody who was in it would take damage from it. And this would cause like 10 people to just die and the other 15 to not take damage at all. And we had a ton of, like we would just get to the end of the fight and we would wipe to that. Happened constantly. So the only way we figured out to do it successfully was to have a spirit link for every one. And I think that required two shaman. Or maybe even three shaman. Maybe I was the third shaman. I have no idea. Or maybe we had like Diva Aura and Barrier for another or something like that. But it was like the mechanic itself was not even meant to be that hard. It was just for some reason, constantly, people would not get credit for choking it. Like here, you see this frontal he's going to do? This is meant to hit everybody in it. You see how it was even like above the ground there? I think it's literally just bugged, yeah. Is he still going to do that transition phase thing? Back before there was like top guild screaming all their shit, you know, you had to come up with crazy strategies to get through it. No way to like look up a video and figure out what like the top players are doing to overcome this problem. So even with Death's Advance, oh, I, I tried to use Death's Advance, he wouldn't let me, I guess it was stunned or something. Very strange mechanic there. That's pretty much it, though. I mean, the rest of the fight had this, this ha it had this, like, transition phase, I guess that's only on Heroic or something. Where you had to run from one side of the room to the other with all the shit in the middle of the room. And then, uh, just survive that every time that happened, basically. Fucking good old days, man. I, I really loved healing back then. Some of the the best players I ever played with were all in our guild and healing at the time. Jesse was carried, but he, he was fun to be around.
I don't remember if Fowler was healing this time, but yeah, me, Alto, and Vic. And then Jesse, and I think. I don't know who probably had. Some, we always had like one revolving door slot. Like, well, Poggy. Was Poggy still playing? <laughs> Another. And Poggy, I used to love his YouTube content. And basically, at the beginning of uh, Cataclysm, I basically realized like if I was going to take over the recruitment, the best way to do it would be to get like actual you know fame eyes on the channel and this is a strategy i tried to continue to use and all the way through the demise of the guild it never really worked to be honest but yeah i basically recruited a bunch of youtubers at one point we had jesse cock hybrid panda and poggy and siler all raiding in the guild at the same time but hybrid panda didn't last very long he was only he really did some stuff together and then he was not able to raid on us anymore but yeah Sai now has 100k, over 100k on his channel, and Poggy's given up YouTube, I think, entirely. He now is like a music, he makes like music professionally. And then Jesse Cox still has probably over a million, right? Let's see. One point one million. One point oh four million. Unfortunately, I don't really think I can watch his content anymore, but... He's like one of the most naturally funny dudes I've ever seen. Beware. Oh, here's that. Wait, what? Yeah, this is that transition phase. He only gives it really low health or something? That's weird. Terrible mechanic. Like, just takes so long. It's such a stupid thing. My thing on Heroic there was you had to go back. You had to go back. That's what it was. I normally only have to get up here once, but then on Hiroki, I had to touch him and then go back. And I think this does like a lot of damage while you're waiting for him to finish the mechanic or something. God, this fucking expansion was it, man. I really love this expansion. These are all, this is like the most, like every part of it. Oh, I guess he does it twice anyway. Every part of it I have good memories of. There's, there's nothing I don't remember. A single thing from Mop that I didn't enjoy. Just the dailies and that whole. Especially at the very beginning where everybody was geared because they did the dailies and got exalted and I still had like I didn't get the neck or whatever the, from Gold Moda's rep and all that shit. I definitely wish those vendors were still in the game because I'd like to see what they offer. I guess, you know, I guess I'm playing Mob Classic. If they do a Mob Classic, I guess I'm playing it. Don't really want to, but I guess at this point I'm, I'm in. We're getting transmog, I don't know. I don't know if it's a new transmog or if it's just like we're getting it because it's like a new source for the thing that already dropped. I was always hoped to cut someone like that someday to hear that sound to have it happen on my own. Prothorax is ridiculous. <laughs> oh yeah, now we have Amber Shaper. That's probably one that can't be sold, right? That's not for a while, I think. What's this one? Windlord Meljorak. No, this isn't him though. This is. There's like another fight first, right? Windlord is the fourth fight, I believe. Because that previous guy is Blade Lord, which makes absolutely no sense. Given how many tornadoes are on the fight. And then the Windlord doesn't do like any wind related things. Really strange. Yeah, what a great, what a great idea trying to sell all these rage wars. I'm really happy I'm able to do it so easily. And it's not like I don't just walk in here and one shot it or something like that. You know, it's like actually feels like I'm doing the raid fight just with no actual chance of failure. So I don't feel like I'm being, you know, I'm wasting my time. I don't want, I don't want to waste time. You know, it's, there's so many different leveling challenges I can be doing. I don't want to be doing this if there's no point in doing it. You know, but it's a lot of fun. This is actually probably the most fun I've had in a while now in the series. May not be the most like rewarding, but it is actually really fun. Bring my 
Oh, Garalon. Yeah, okay, so this is a, fa a funny fight as well. At the point, at this point, um, we had... Actually, I think at this point, did Jesse actually switch from healing to DPS? Yeah, maybe. Uh, but yeah, basically... No, I think this is when... Yeah, anyway, so... Siler was playing in Hand Shaman, and he was taking a build that had, like... They could put uh, healing rains down a lot or something like that. I don't really remember. What do we do here? But anyway, he could put healing rain down a lot. And he was actually out healing Jesse on most fights as enhanced. <laughs> Jesse was a... Uh... You may have seen it. There's a funny, like, rage moment where... Siler uh, was screaming and... We were really struggling in class and cataclysm. Can I even do this? What is going on right now? Can you just attack him? Yes, you can just attack him. I have no idea what he's doing. Move out of purple ring. Why? Okay, he like stomps the ground if he gets gets in there for some reason. Looks like I can just attack him. I'm not sure what breaking these legs even does. I think it makes him stop getting that depth debuff. I think you're meant to like kite him. I have no idea. Pheromone Trail does something. So he broke a thing and now he has six stacks, so I don't know. Oh, just, yeah, just chill out, bro. I guess that he's got a really big hitbox and I need to move farther. Not really. I don't have any idea what's going on in this fight. It's clear that the tank is not meant to be the one breaking the legs, though. Oh, they're actually still getting hit by my blood boil, though. Oh, wait, only the one was for some reason. Did I put blood boil on all of them? I have no idea. Oh, he's just so fast now, huh? I have no idea why. Like, I don't know what to do about it. I think you have to break all four simultaneously or something. <laughs> I have no idea. Don't think it matters though, it looks like, because even if he keeps stunning me over and over again, it's not doing anything. Does this slow you down or something? What is the point of the pheromones? No idea. This whole fight doesn't make any sense at all. This is one of the worst fights in this expansion, if I remember correctly though. I'm gonna try to break that other leg. See what happens. Beware. Can I break it? He like won't let me get back there really, but it's gonna die now. You see, this one is ready to respawn. Maybe by the time I single target this one down, the other one will go. No. Stop. This is annoying as fuck. I want to break this. It's like a tease, bro. I want to, I want to see what happens. Alright, this one's back now. Ah, right, yeah, forget it. Just kill boss. Does he move even faster now? 180% now, yeah. It's clear you're meant to break the legs, but I can't figure out how to do it. I can't get close. Like, I literally can't get close enough to them. He has to like do a mechanic and then I can do it, I guess. Nope. It's so annoying to try to hit these targets as they're moving. I don't think that does anything at all if we don't actually break them all together, right? Can't fucking target it. No way to like reliably stay behind him. Now that one's fall off again. Beware. Stop fucking! <laughs> what a terrible encounter. Definitely a terrible encounter to solo, but obviously not meant to go this way on the real version.
Now the back left one's back. Alright, we're never gonna get it. Sorry. I wanted to at least see what happened, but... Just no shot. Can't even get close enough to dot it, like... I have to, like, do some dumb bullshit just to get even close enough to dot it. But the fight's a complete joke. It doesn't do a single thing, so... I think this, uh... You needed to drop this accurately or something like that. Other than that, that was pretty much all the fight. Oh, somehow he reset. Is it because we broke all four? They don't all have to be broken at once. They just have to all be broken. That may be the case, because he reset his stack somehow. We did finally break that one. Which I thought it was that one. I guess it is, and that's why it's respawned now. And yeah, like the tank's movement was really difficult because of that frontal. Maybe one of the worst fights they've ever made now that I'm remembering some things about it. Just like a pure gimmick fight. Not a fan of those. Oogie. dead though. Beware. Better just Beware. keep getting crushed over and over again, man. At least the mob is you know, not saying walk away. Alright. This is probably the last one we can actually solo, right? The boss? Oh yeah. The trash is part of the fight, right? All of Pandaria. It's not that big. I think if she was gonna do that, it would've happened already. She can't even get out of fucking dread waste, bro. Like what? Uh oh, mending. What is this? Creates a pool of corrosive resin. Guess we need to kill the trash here. No idea what this says, I'll just stand in it. Probably just another mechanic that you're meant to drop accurately. Now this is the fight, I think I told the story already in the series, but this is the fight that we had spent like all night on. We finally killed it, or we got really, really close to killing it, and my mom like walks in at like 1% and I'm holy pally. And there was something I needed to do, like I think I needed to bop somebody or something. That was like a crucial mechanic that I needed to do. And the boss is like about to die and there's like eight people alive and I needed to do something. If I do it, we're going to win. If not, it's going to be a wipe. And she walks in literally three, two, one. Hey, I need to talk to you about something. And I literally turned around. I, I didn't even turn around probably, but I literally said, this is literally the worst possible time. But because I was so like, I couldn't pay attention, I ended up missing it. So everybody died, but maybe the tank, I guess Rick survived, and then Siler onked, and he killed the boss. He finished the boss. So we were gonna wipe until that. Like he, he that was like multiple solo saves. Siler literally multiple solo saves, or I guess you would not say solo because the tank always survived. Like 
these enrages or whatever things that would kill us at ends of fights, like the tanks never got challenged by them. Well, it's really just, I don't remember, was it fast speed? I, was I don't even remember who the other tank was at that point, but somebody was tanking and Rick was one of them. He was playing a bear druid. And his health pool was just like absurd, I think, is what would happen. Because he would like never, like these enrages would just not even kill him. Like it w the enrages back in the day were a lot of just like, all right, you're, the fight's over now. Like it's not like you could survive it. It was a one shot. Everything would one shot you. And he would not, he, like it was like a hit of damage is what I'm trying to say. Like it wasn't, he, a lot of bosses didn't just do more damage. It just hit you for an enormous amount of damage. And then that would be it. I think I was telling it on El Elgalon, right? Because that was the first one of these expansion. It would just one-shot you, and if you somehow survived it, the fight was continuing on as normal. Which is really weird. But maybe it's just those a few fights like that, and I, I just remember only those ones. But Yeah, like, look, five-minute Berserk already. It's only an eight-minute fight. It's a pretty short fight for, uh, you know, back in the day. Pretty short in rage, I mean, so. And that's not normal. I don't even know what this guy's doing. This fight doesn't even seem to have any mechanics that I would be worried about. That's really, yeah, just too powerful. Wait, what is that over there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were supposed to use the weapons to break the trashes, kill the trash, right? Yeah, I think we're not actually meant to kill the trash. We're meant to use the weapons. I don't know, these wind bombs. That's what it was. That, That's what it was. These need to be broken, don't they? They do physical damage? I think they do physical damage. And I was meant to... That's what it was. I was meant to bop or bubble myself and clear them. That's what it was. I was meant to clear them, and I forgot to bobble or bop. So I just ran to my death. I just walked into it and killed myself. Yeah, that's my mom's like... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Had to be rude to my mom, but I think literally like I mean I don't yeah I, I don't know that even now to this day does she understand like what rating is and why it's difficult. I think like for a long time she well now in the more modern day she like confused streaming and rating as the same thing, but that's obviously not relevant to mob, but. Yeah, it's hard to explain, huh? Hard to explain to somebody who's never played the game, but... It's also hard to explain to somebody who's never done, like, group-based content, like, anything, right? Like, if you've never been part of any type of... Like, there's not a lot of PvE, group-based PvE in the real world, is there? It's not like, what What else would there be? Uh, there's not really any examples that I can give. There's not, there's not any examples. But it's because the, the rating is meant to be like, it's almost like PvP. Like, it's meant to be PvP. They're just not other players apart from us. Like, rating in reality is like you and 10 people go and kill a bunch of people and run away afterwards. Like, you go take their shit and run, right? Like, that's what the word rating means. I've heard like a lot of people who don't play games say that. Like, oh, you're like, uh, you're, you're fighting other people? And it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, that's not what it means. It's actually a bad, like, it should never be called raiding, right? It's called a raid group. But the opposite of that is called a party. Like, it's not... You know what I mean? Like, it's a weird term. Like, if you could do it with five people, would you call it partying? Yeah, I'm partying right now, Mom. Well, excuse me. You know, like, shit. <laughs> it would be a bad term. So, I don't know. Raiding is not really the right term either, I feel like. Less than three. I have no idea. No idea. Oh, right. Yes, 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 yes. All the trash buffs each other, doesn't it? So the fact that I fought all that, that's obviously not how it was going to be done. But you're meant to have CC'd the big guys or something like that. That's right. All right. Well, anyway, we're kind of running out of time here in this episode. So we'll try this fight. I imagine this one's not doable. I would assume that this one is not doable. Because this is the one that somebody has to control the ad in this. <laughs> I don't remember. 
It, it just like picks a person, right? That's how it worked. So we had Elto, who was one of the best players ever, but he actually only had one hand. He was born without a hand on his left arm, I think. Had to be his left arm, because I don't know how he would use a mouse otherwise. I did an interview with him in a mob about how the fact that he was able to actually like be one of the best healers I've ever played with and still play with only one hand. But anyway, um, it was that wad we did that. But anyway, I think that was why, because he would get this mechanic and it was like, all right, wipe it up. <laughs> it was like a joke, like years, years, and years later, like Elto's in the Elto's in the amber shaper thing. All right, wipe it up. That was a joke for years. And I don't remember why, what it actually does, but I'm pretty sure if he needs to be, if it needs to be done, then you just can't do it, right? Because it's going to mind control me if I go in there. It's probably going to reset or something like that, I think is what would happen. But we'll try. We'll do one pull for sure. This is a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be, though. Unfortunately, like, running through it a second time would probably be way less fun. But it is still cool. Seeing all this stuff for the first time. It's very interesting. Like, I mean, the fact that we're, like, 25 episodes in and we're still finding new fun things to try. Tells you some nice things about... What are, what are we doing here? This way. Nothing. Yeah, you know, is there even anything over there? Unsock. Okay. I don't know about the trash. Let's just pull the boss and see what happens. I don't want to go too far over an hour here. Presumably it's just going to not be doable because of this fight. Beware. Amber Scalpel. This is a really strange mechanic where it picked a player and then you had to run away from it and spawn adds along the line that it formed. Parasitic growth. Okay. Yeah, so this is the thing that chooses who's going to become the amber shaped thing. And you turn into a fucking A-bomb. Like you turn into Rylaf for some reason. Oh wait, maybe not. This is a different mechanic. Yeah, this is a different mechanic. Is he gonna do that? Or maybe it is still the same mechanic. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. He didn't just reset or something. Oh! Wait, what just happened? I'm actually really confused what just happened. Let's try it one more time. Did he bug out? Like, why did that, why did I die? My health was full, wasn't it? Was it because I pressed the two button? It's possible. It's probably just not solvable because of that. Like, you can't get out of that. I think when it expires, you just die or something, maybe? I have no idea. You're meant to eat the pools, but I don't know why. Are you meant to eat the pools to survive longer? That's probably why. They, did people have to break you out? I don't, I don't remember. I assume eating the pools was just to help the group, but maybe you have to eat the pools to not get killed in there or something. One more, then we're gonna hearth, and then, uh... Maybe next episode we'll try Throne of Thunder or something? We'll see. I don't know what we're doing now after this, but... Throne of Thunder is gonna be tough, though, because it's a long-ass raid. So even if I can solo it, it's gonna probably take like a, we might have to do it on a day where, okay, I say I already, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what's happening. I can't read the things in time, and I just die. So I don't know. But yeah, I think it, either way, I don't... Yeah, probably not doable, so... Alright, well, that's hard to fear. Uh, probably done on there. I don't even really like this raid. To be honest. But yeah, let's go hearth. Grab this stuff and upgrade some more gear. We have at least 5k, 5.4k in our, in our bags. And obviously we're going to have even more from scrapping. We have a bunch of gems we should scrap too. But I got to do some stuff, so I got to get off. Let's go and turn this stuff in. We'll scrap gems another time. Speak. Scrap this gear quick. It just takes too long to create the gems. Twelve fifty. Did I just get twelve fifty because I scrapped a high item level piece that I swapped away from last last time? I'd hope so. I'd hope you get a good amount for scrapping a high item level piece, right? Where's the guy? Over here. I'll trust you Wait, we also have those? Where, where were those? Oh, in the top. Stupid stuff. I don't even know what this stuff is. God, I love this music! Oh my god, it's so good, dude. It's really the best expansion musically, I think. Uh, okay. How much do we have, bronze-wise? Not even enough for the weapon. Gloved. Holders. Okay. Alright, so we still need helmet. Chest. I mean, yeah. I mean, we need a lot. <laughs> We're probably never getting all of these, but... Anyway, that's it. I gotta run. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next episode. If you have any commentary on what happened in this one, let me know.